What's going on, you two? What's going on, you two? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Brad Still Channel. Still Reactions Yataka is where it's happening. Thank you guys for joining me on the Bradical Bandwagon today for another reaction video. And today, I'm back checking out a little more Oliver Anthony. Ain't got a dollar. I love that title. Love that title. Can't wait to hear what this is all about. Obviously, this dude has some deep songs. And I gotta check it out and see what's going on. This is Oliver Anthony ain't got a dollar but before i get to this one let you guys know of course about my covers and original music some of that's available on the channel right now here's a snippet of one now if you want to hear the full thing there'll be a link to it at the end of the video as well as in the video description below also the red subscribe button is below red 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 subscribe button if you're interested in that if you enjoy the channel if you enjoy the videos if you enjoy the reactions if you enjoy the music it takes one second to click the red subscribe button okay i sounded like an auctioneer there for a second okay Oliver Anthony ain't got a dollar. Ain't got a dollar. Without further ado, let's get it going. In the so woods. So this is a song I wrote. Uh, it's based off a true story. It's called uh, Ain't Got a Dollar. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, my guy looks like he has... True story. It's called uh, Ain't Got a Dollar. <laughs> Look, he, this dude has dirt on his hands, dirt on his arms. I mean, this guy, he's, he's putting a work in, man. He's a, he's a working man. <clears throat> well, I ain't got a dollar. I don't need a dime. You know, <laughs> it's amazing because I heard him say on an interview the other day that he's never taken any voice lessons. He's never, you know, in fact, he doesn't even consider himself to be like a good singer. I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? Like, forget, like, Step outside of just the message of his songs. This guy's got an incredible voice. Like, very, very old school, like, you know, and, and this kind of music, too, is very, it's just honest and it's real. His voice goes perfectly with the, the songs that he writes. But I don't need a dime. I got a little spot in the country <laughs> where I spend all of my time. Yeah. When the sun goes down on this itty bitty town, we can light up the bowl and pass it around. I ain't got a dollar, but I don't need a dime. <laughs> My guy is pretty much saying, like, I ain't got a dollar. I ain't got much money. I got. I live in a small town. I live out here in the woods. But you know what? You know, I, I, and he proved it to, to be true because they offered him a record deal the other day worth millions. He turned it down. Like, you know, he, he's saying, hey, this small town life, this is, this is what I want. I, I ain't a big city guy. I don't like all the lights and the cameras and all that stuff, man. I just want to be out here with my music and my dogs and my trees and my nature. Like, Yeah. Have to pick some muscadines, ride off the vines, get a little yeast and make a little wine. Cause I ain't got a dollar, but I don't need a dime. 
That is such a great line. I ain't got a dollar, but I don't need a dime. I got everything I need, you know? I, I ain't got a lot of money. I don't live in a mansion. I don't drive the nicest car. I don't, you know, I don't live in no big city, but, like, I got all I need, man. I love it. And you know what? I got to say, it, it is it is a good thing, in my opinion, that today what YouTube and, and uh, other platforms like it bring to the table, you know, that I think is a good thing, is that it used to be if you wanted to make it, if you wanted to get your music out there where people could hear it, you had to, you know, move to one of those big cities. You had to be in L.A. or New York or, you know, at smallest Nashville. And still, I mean, there's nothing wrong with those cities, but, like, the fact that through YouTube and social media, now anybody anywhere with with a song to sing, a song on their heart, whether it be a cover or an original... You can get your stuff out there, man. And I can say it as a musician and an artist myself. Like, it is a great thing. Because everybody has an opportunity. Even if you're living in a small town, if you're living out in the woods, ain't got a lot of money, you know, whatever, you can get your music out there and reach people. And that is a great thing. That is a, one of the positives about YouTube and social media and things like that. There's not many positives, but that's one of them. Gotta end it on the dogs, man. Oh, I played my heart out. They don't even no <laughs> applause or anything. <laughs> a bunch of ungrateful dogs. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> Starting to rain pretty good. All right, well, bye. That, look how peaceful that is, man. That that nature and the rain and things like that. Uh, and I and I relate with the the stuff about the dogs, man. My mine is sitting right outside this door right here, and like he said, he don't give a crap what I'm doing in here. Um, but yeah, um, it, it is amazing, and that's a great song, and I think that this should be a challenge to, to everybody out there making music, no matter if you're in kind of the same genre as him or not. Man, you cannot go wrong with songs that people can hear and say, hey, that lyric reminds me of me. That reminds me of my life right there. You can't go wrong with it. You can't go wrong. His songs are relatable, his lyrics are relatable, and he sings the crap out of them. So good for him, man. And you know what? He, his music's getting out there and he's reaching people and he ain't even got to leave the house. Good for him, man. Good for him. Thank you guys for joining me on the Radical Bandwagon today. Don't forget, covers and originals should be on your screen right now as well as in the video description below. Thank you guys. Take it in. Soak it up. Bye.